personal trainer and nutrition coach and I coach women to quit yo-yo dieting and build a lifestyle where they can get and keep their results forever since you're here I'm hoping you'll get fired up about that hit the subscribe button and stick around to hear some of the things I have to teach while also participating in this baylicious community where we support each other on our journeys to happiness and health. All right, so jumping into the video, all of the videos going forward are going to start with a mantra, and today we're starting with two. So repeat after me. I guard my mind, my body, and spirit from all that does not serve it. I nourish my mind, my body, and spirit every day. Those are the two. Repeat it again. I guard my mind, my body, and spirit from all that does not serve me. I nourish my mind, my body, my spirit every day. Mm, that just feels so yummy. It just feels so great to affirm ourselves. Now, today's video, I invite you on a journey just to take an assessment of your inputs an assessment of what you're doing to feed your mind, your body, and spirit every day in order to stay motivated. Now, I hear so many people say all the time, I'm just not motivated, I'm so tired, I get distracted, I've fallen out of routine, I just can't get my life. But what are you even doing to stay motivated? Zig Ziglar has a saying, he says, a lot of people say motivation doesn't last. Well, duh, neither does bathing. And that's why we do it every day. So what are you doing every single day to stay motivated? This channel is all about health, wellness, and fitness. So that's what I'm talking about. What are you doing every day to stay motivated around your fitness routine? I think there's something missing though because when I'm having this conversation with people it's almost as if their fitness their health is just another thing on the to-do list and it's not top priority but let me tell you why that is detrimental treating your fitness and your wellness and your nutrition as if it's just not ideal to be out of routine is incorrect it's actually detrimental Okay, it's detrimental. It's not just not ideal, okay? And you may feel just fine now, but let me tell you, bad habits compound. And so that means whatever you're doing now, it's only gonna magnify with time. And the statistics shows us that being overweight, especially in America, leads to some not so good outcomes, okay? One in three Americans, one in three, a third of our country is obese. And then you take those out of the population, one in three after that are overweight. And I just told you bad habits compound. So overweight now could mean obesity in the future. And the consequences of that are early death, heart disease. Heart disease is actually the leading killer in America right now. Heart disease, type two diabetes, osteoarthritis, joint and muscle pain which means a lower quality of life and who wants to be living on this planet with a lower quality of life when you ignore 
the fact that your fitness and your health is actually of utmost important, you are setting yourself up for a lower quality of life in the future. Maybe even right now, maybe you're experiencing that now. And what I invite you to do is just be open-minded to changing your mindset around how important it is to prioritize your health and your wellness. And I get it. There's so much going on right now. I don't want to dismiss how busy life can be and all of the other stressors and all of the other things that you have to take care of. I don't want to be dismissive. I just want to encourage you that this is another one of those things that's going to help everything else go better. So you want to put this at the top of your priority list and the way to do it is to stay motivated by being in control of what you're inputting. What are you putting in so that you can get out of yourself the things you want? What are you consuming? You are what you consume. So if you aren't consuming motivation, you're probably not gonna stay motivated. And that's just how it is. So if there is a goal that you have around your body goals, around your health goals, maybe it's energy levels, maybe it's skin, whatever it is, what are you consuming so that you can improve in that area? Are you seeking out best practices on a daily basis? Are you doing things to stay in motion? Are you listening to others and taking in the things that are going to be energizing rather than draining you so that you fall out of routine? I'm going to give you a few ways that you can control your inputs, okay? So, first of all is to keep learning. If there's any goal you have, you don't want to just set yourself up on a routine and just start tracking, okay? You want to be learning along the way because once you hit that goal, you want to be expert enough to keep the results. So always learning. You can do this through podcasts. You could download Audible and read a book on it. You could be seeking appointments with professionals, maybe paying a trainer, seeking counseling, a therapist. These are all ways that you can continue learning along the process. And usually when you learn something new, you are energized to implement it. And that can keep you motivated to keep showing up. Because think about it. If all you know isn't quite getting you where you want to go, that can be discouraging. This is all I know. It's not working. What do I do? You go learn more. Go learn more. Monitor what you're consuming. Edit the account, the accounts you're watching on social media. Edit your time. Cut it back, the time spent on social media. Follow accounts where they're giving you advice on best practices. And I want to stress that. Best practices, not fast practices, because they are not one in the same. Okay, so keep learning. My next point to stay motivated is to keep good company. So if you have a goal, don't be in it by yourself. Join a community of other people on the journey or even a community where some people are on the journey and some people have gotten a result and they're pouring back in to help you get that result as well. Who are your friends? Who are you spending the most time with? There's a saying that says, change your friends or change your friends. And we don't want to just go abandoning everyone who doesn't have the same goal as us, but we do want to be encouraging them to participate in some of the things that we're doing, especially if it's good for their health, their wealth, their well-being. Why not have your friends join you on your journey and get some new friends who are going to help you along the way as well. In addition to continuing to learn as well as keeping good company, you want to track your progress diligently. You are going to show up and you are going to track your progress. Even seeing little tiny changes can be the motivation to continue to show up. Knowing how effective your routine is, is going to help you continue to show up. And this might not just be tracking the scale. 
this might be tracking your measurements this might be tracking your strength gains this might be taking pictures so you can see the changes happening to your body this may be journaling how are you feeling today how are you showing up the next day how are you feeling at the end of the workout how are you feeling after certain meals and introducing new ingredients and leaving out ones that didn't work for you all of this is diligent tracking and it's going to help you stay motivated so editing the video and realize that for a good amount of the clip you can't hear anything i'm saying so quick little outfit change because it's a totally different day but i need to re-record the next two points just didn't want it to be weird when, yeah, you just, I just changed in the middle of the video, but let's get back to it. A fourth way that you can make sure that you're doing all you can to stay motivated is to redesign your environment. So that means those triggering foods, you know, the ones that when you start, you just can't stop. Maybe you don't keep those in plain sight. Maybe you put those away in a cabinet where you have to go out of your way to get to them or you just don't keep them in your living space whatsoever. And instead, you keep your fruits, your veggie, your lower calorie energizing snacks on display. That way, the better choice is obvious and you're more likely to reach for those when you're not thinking about it. Another one would be keeping water around your living space, not just one water bottle. Maybe you keep one by your bedside, you keep one on the on the table at your workspace water in different locations so that when it's time to have a sip you don't have to go out of your way to go and grab it it's right there at your fingertips this might also be putting up pictures and different sayings and reminders of positivity of reminders of your why so that as you're in your environment you see these things and they're reminders for you to make a good choice today. Another one that may not be so obvious because it may not be in your living space is your workout space. Make sure that the gym facility that you pick isn't out of the way or wouldn't be a hassle to get to. Make sure it's very convenient, maybe on the way home for work or on the way to work make sure that if it's in your house it's a place where you go often i know a lot of people decide i want to work out in my basement but their basement is a place that they don't frequent at all you want to make it convenient and you want to keep it where you're going to see it and be reminded so redesign that environment and make it so that your better choice is always the obvious one and the choice you want to abstain from making is a hassle and my final piece of advice for today is to reward yourself. Now, this doesn't mean because you've been having a great eating week on the weekend, you get to have a big cheat day. No, that's not what I'm saying. I personally like to reward myself using my love language. And I can make a whole video on how to use your love language to love on yourself and keep yourself motivated. But what you first want to do is figure out what your love language is whether it's words of affirmation, whether it's physical touch, whether it's gifts or acts of service. And you can set things up to reward yourself. So if you've had a week of two of making great decisions, say your love language was acts of service, maybe you set up a massage as a reward for yourself. Or if it was physical touch, maybe you give yourself a nice long soak or if it was quality time, maybe you set up some me time or you set up some time with a friend in celebration of all that you've been doing. Now, this is a great way to get others involved, especially if they're gonna be a part of your reward. You can let them know, hey, I'm gonna be working on this set goal and in a week or so or in two weeks, I'd like you to join me as I reward myself. So it's a great way to get your friends and family involved but also to give yourself something to look forward to because sometimes when we're in the grind especially because health and wellness it's a it's a marathon it's something you're going to be focusing on for your whole lifetime 
sometimes it can just get monotonous and boring and we're humans we want gratification so you can celebrate yourself by rewarding yourself using love languages using your love language now if you'd like to see a video on that hit the like button or let me know down in the comments because this has been something that i have ex been exploring for the past year or so so i'd love to share some of the things that i and my clients are doing to reward ourselves as we prioritize our health and wellness so i want to know let me know in the comments what are your daily inputs and if you don't have any right away that you can think of think forward what are you going to do going forward to make sure that every single day you are nourishing your mind your body and spirit and guarding your mind your body your spirit from what doesn't serve you you gotta overload yourself with the stuff that's going to keep you on track and you gotta minimize the things that are going to distract you and get you out of routine. We're actually going to be discussing this in my virtual transformation club. It's a small community of my clients where we meet and engage virtually and celebrate one another along the journey. If you are looking for coaching or a community to join, there's a link in my description so that you can schedule a get started chat with me where I'll get to know you and your goals and you'll get to know me and we can see if it's a good fit but if you stuck around this long i know you got something out of it so go ahead make sure you're subscribed make sure you hit the notification bell turn on all so that you catch my next video and then share this with someone who you want to join you on your journey or could get something from this other than that i'll see you guys next time peace love increase have a great day Thank you.